I think the biggest difference also, um, I would say even just between last year in a traditional classroom my student taught with Dina, to this year with the personalized learning is students are being progressed based on their ability and skill set rather than moving them at a grade level progression whether they're getting the skills or not where normally in a traditional classroom you may do an end of month test the students take the test they pass or they fail and then you move on to the next concept regardless of that whereas now the each student is basically learning at their own pace pace this approach of you know small group and really um you know, honing in on what each kid needs, it's really changed my approach to giving assessments. But I've also noticed it's much more um, beneficial for the kids as well as for my information. So I'm not wasting time, you know, reteaching a skill where half these kids don't need it. Like, if you've got it, let's move on. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna, you know, I'm always saying like, I don't wanna waste your time. If you've got it, then let's keep going. Yep. If you don't, then there's a reason we're gonna revisit it. Yeah, I have a first grader in um, the highest math group along with many second graders. Mm -hmm. There are also some third graders that are um, with other teachers that are working in a lower strand because they're getting what they need. We're trying to fill those gaps in the foundational skills so that we can push them to beyond grade level, grade level and above grade level.